Fresh, welcome to my little corner of the internet where we focus on being holistic beings. I'm Bibi, and this is my home, this is my space. And the reason why I've been MIA is just plain and simple, guys, it's been rough. I have had assessment after assessment after deadline after assessment. Things have just been hectic, and at the moment, I'm in the final stretch of the year. Thank you, Jesus! The problem is, it's finals, right? I've been feeling very unwell. I don't know, something is wrong with my bowels. Yeah, too much information, right? But it's not anything like poop. It's not something that has to do with poop. It actually is just these very severe abdominal cramps that have been going on for two-ish, two, three days. I thought it was ovulation at first because during my ovulation time, I do get pains, like every now and then, like for 10 minutes, five minutes, and then they go away. But this has been consistent for the past two days. So I know I'm not ovulating. I'm not on a period so I'm not pair of pains. And they feel weird. It doesn't feel like uterine cramps. They feel like something that has to do with my intestines. And my fridge, I'm looking at it. It broke down. When did it break down? I think like two weeks ago. And I don't have the time or the money to fix it. So I've just been living by grace and using the fridge elsewhere at my place of frequency. But I've basically been using another fridge, sort of. I basically cook at home, carry my things to where I spend most of my time, have them in the fridge and eat there, and then come home and sleep and go there during the day. I'm being very cryptic, right? Yeah. But that's not important. What's important is basically I was going through the most I still am. I have exactly 10 days, 10 guys, until the end of my year academically. And there's so much on my heart that I can share. There's this let's start with the positives there is an overwhelming peace that i feel like i've been blessed with there is a calm assurance there is hope right and at the same time i was in this exact position 11 years ago exact position right before it was my june exams but it was right before something that i knew was important and i had given it my all and i had done my best and the result was not there and so i sit here today in the same exact place i had the therapy appointment and she asked me something so important like how do I feel like now that I'm full circle at the exact same point I was previously and before she had said that I'd actually never thought about it so I was like no I feel perfectly fine mentally I'm great thank god um, spiritually I'm just in a really good place emotionally I think I'm in a good place um, yeah but then after that appointment slowly and slowly I've been realizing that my anxiety and my the discouraging thoughts the negative thoughts they're slowly increasing because I get final the first final actually tomorrow so that's where I am and I choose this is the difference between me now and me beginning of this year around March when I was at my lowest I think because of my decision to come back to a place of trauma I choose to not believe the negative thoughts. I'm not saying that they don't come. I'm not saying that I'm not scared. I'm not saying that I only have you know, unicorns, butterflies, and angels in my thoughts. It's actually really, really hard. They are recurring thoughts, they are negative thoughts, and I'm constantly being challenged by my mental health. I think that's the best way to put it. But I'm choosing, I'm healthy enough mentally right now to choose not to believe those negative thoughts. I'm in a place where I can actually differentiate the difference between my reality which is actually pretty good and my feelings which sometimes paint this dull you know morbid miserable picture of my future because i am on a contract if finals don't go well i get kicked out plain and simple regardless of whether it's one percent or two percent by which i fall short i will get kicked out that's just the deal i made with the devil we call this i kid that's not really but i think that's the condition by which i have been you know allowed to try again and so, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to link the video, I think, in the description box. The cards thing is not working. So I'm going to link it in the description box. You're more than welcome to go and look at it in your own time. It's a bit lengthy, but it is the most raw and real part of me that I have ever put out there for the world to see. And it might help you. It might help somebody else that you know. It has to do with going back to places of rejection and trauma and healing from that. And basically, um, how I got to where I am now, to the version of me that you are meeting. So I'm going to link that in the description box, but regardless of that, it's finals week, I don't have time, my first finals tomorrow, I have not been feeling well for the past two days, and basically I had my end of block, so my year is segmented into blocks, and my last block I wrote, today is, mm, today's Tuesday, so my last exam I actually wrote, 
eight days ago. Eight days ago, I was writing a final exam. Imagine. And then after that, I had one, two, three, four, five, five days. And then I wrote a practical final called the OSCE, my last OSCE of the year, thank God. It went okay. And then now, it's I'm um, exactly seven days from my last OSCE, which means I, I basically have had seven days to really fully concentrate on this final. And this final is going to be a combination of two blocks. Um, I'm going to be writing renal and him. And yeah, I'm... I cannot say I'm ready because him for me was very difficult. It was during my dark half period of the year. And so I feel like I had to go back and relearn things. But I don't, in seven days, that's not enough time to learn the work of six weeks. But I'm just basically going to do my best and I'm going to give it my everything. And I've been sick. I think I mentioned that I've been unwell for the past two days. Um, and I don't, funny enough, I don't like medication very much. I choose to hear my body, investigate what's happening, heal it naturally, or give it time to repair and resources to repair itself. And if it fails, then I'll go to synthetic medication, so pills, medication, like drinks or whatnot, not herbs. Herbs, I, I'll do it. I'll, 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 you know, after food and exercise, I'll go to herbs. And then if herbs don't work, exercise doesn't work, food doesn't work, sleep doesn't work, then I'll go to, you know, herbs and then I'll go to synthetic medication. That's just the order by which I choose to heal my body. And so, right now, I've reached the last stage. I literally went to the doctor, I got some medication, I got antibiotics, he thinks it might be something. Oh, I told you my fridge wasn't working. He thinks that the Brussels sprouts, because I had, I cooked Brussels sprouts and mango, mango tout beans, snap peas, and what else was there? I, I had olives, and all of these things were in the fridge for a couple of days, right? And remember, the fridge wasn't on because it's not working. So basically, he thinks that something that I cooked might have been bad, and now it's causing either irritable bowel syndrome or obstructive bowel disorder, something. It's basically just disturbing my bowels. And because I'm plant-based, I have, I don't know if this is too much information, but basically, I go to the toilet about three times a day. Yeah, on a good day, it's three to three times. I want to say three to four, but it's, yeah, mostly three times. And then on a bad day, it's once or twice. Like if, I, if I'm like, I'm not pausing bowels, it's like once a day or twice a day. Um, so for me not to be regular, like at the moment, I think I've only had, I'd say one and a half bowels, bowel movements today, which for me is nothing. Um, but also I haven't eaten, because I've been unwell, I haven't been eating very much. So I had the Brussels sprouts meal, I had potato wedges, I had um, olives, which were in the fridge, tomato, cherry tomatoes were in the fridge, um, cucumber was in the fridge, what else was there? The garlic, I actually think I should throw it out. Oh my gosh, and my friend had gifted me that garlic and it's so super. It's hand, it's hand crushed garlic from KZN. Um, and I had that as well in the salad. So basically what he thinks is that the food that was in the fridge went bad. And I, although I cooked it, um, it's now causing disturbances in my bowels, which is why for two days I've been having this cramping pain. I'm just saying too much. So basically I'm taking you along. Today I will be pulling an all-nighter because I have to go over my renal work which i haven't done in seven days i've just been drinking heating and today i want to go over my heme work i still have so much to do but i basically just want to show you what it's like for me in my crunch time season i don't think i'm going to record beyond tomorrow's exam i think i'm going to do literally a 24 hour vlog updating you if hourly or every few hours about where i am what i've done and yeah i'll take you with me tomorrow so yeah please enjoy my torture but there is nothing i would rather do with my life at this moment than this so sadly it has it has to be exams but let me show you um because my bowel is a bit sensitive i'm having fruits so i have you know red apples and an orange that i've peeled and cut up i have water just in case there's something in my water at home um i've bought a couple of these so just to make sure that it's not the water that's causing you know my feeling sick I have in here um, jelly beans, yeah, jelly beans, sour jelly beans, which are vegan, don't have gelatin, love that for me, and I also have natural licorice to suck on, I find that my focus is elevated, not elevated per se, but I can focus more when my mouth is occupied, um, I think Sigmund Freud, yes, Sigmund Freud, I'm a fan, he said um, that the stage of development that I had skipped was the oral stage, and that has made me orally fixated, and that would explain my OC, well not OCD, but why I'm so particular and pedantic personality wise and why I like structure and why I'm a bit obsessive about certain things. So yeah, that's why I have jelly beans, but I don't really like sugar. Well not really don't really like sugar. I'm weaning myself slowly, slowly off of sugar. I would really like to just be completely sugar free. Not completely sugar free. 
this is not a conversation we should be having we'll do it in another video anyway so those are my study snacks with the licorice i'm gonna get to work and i hope you enjoy this rendition of my experience as a a gudalam kulu student in pain i am still in a bit of pain um during finals and to every single person who sent me an inbox uh email uh a dm on instagram you know telling me about your story and telling me or sharing with me your academic journey and where you are right now just know that i have been praying for every single person um, because every situation so far has been very unique and know that i truly do believe in everyone who sent me an email or message you have proven that you want this but perhaps you are tired also don't believe how you feel because feelings are not a reflection of reality feelings help us to perceive reality they help us to figure it out to take information and process it and then decide how to move forward but they are not painting a true picture always not not 100% of the time that your feelings are telling you the truth you can do it if i can do this you can do it there's there's nothing about me that's special and i refuse to go down that fight pain or no pain no bowels or no bowel in the bowel movements we are going to do this so i will see you in about i think less than two hours i'll see you in two hours um let the 24 hour period begin Hey guys, I am three hours in from the last time I probably filmed anything. It's been a slow process and just the discomfort is just, it's unbearable. Also, I got some really, really bad news. Um, yeah, my friend lost his dad. Um, so yeah, that's just, it's not pleasant. But I am still here still pushing um, I think I'm gonna have supper I'll show you where I have for supper I think I'm gonna have supper I'm having gum right now in about which is actually a bad idea because I have a bowel issue and gum is gonna increase the amount of air in the bowel so this is not a good idea don't do this also this is a DIY um, it was on my what's it called what's it called Instagram it was on my Instagram we went through it together and I showed you guys the final product and this is where I decided to put it it's so cute it's so cute but i'll show you another time it's so cute though like i mean i mean i'm trying not to show you guys the room i'm gonna do the reveal at some point when i'm ready when i'm ready <sighs> pray for me this exam season is like yeah so i'll check in in a couple in a couple of Optimora, and I didn't get through as much as I thought I was. I was in excruciating pain, and I basically just tried to exercise, tried to stretch to make it feel better. I didn't want to take the Sephora Specs again, which is the pills that are for abdominal cramps, they stop. Um, muscle movements they stop secretions which I think is gonna be like counterproductive if you want to get bowel movements moving am I giving you guys so much information here yeah. but point is um, I stopped I didn't take them I was supposed to take four so two in the well two in the afternoon and two like I guess before I sleep but I wasn't sleeping so I was like but I didn't take my pulls. I basically just waited it out. 
and try to work in between the cramps it was like being in labor and writing exams like one minute you're in pain and the next minute you're you know you're you're waiting for the next pain you don't know when it's going to come and in that time you're trying to get as much done as you can it's terrible but i'm feeling better i'm feeling a lot better um i think i'll be okay tomorrow um and i'm gonna write no matter what but i need to do a lot and so i'm going to make sure that i sleep an hour an hour if i'm lucky i thought i'd do 30 minutes but i think i'm just gonna do an hour and then wake up and do a couple of cross papers hopefully go through my notes i basically have six hours left no four wait it's two so that means i have six hours left i'm gonna sleep one and then try and do cross papers in the last four hours this is an extreme sports guys i don't recommend subject which is hematology but we'll see how it goes you know what i'm not even gonna cross my fingers there's no need i have prayed about it god has heard me he was with me last time in such a phenomenal and amazing way and he will be with me this time bringing everything back lord into remembrance hallelujah somebody anyway um i need to be heading off now because parking is a problem so I'm about to leave my exam is in an hour and a half, so I'm going to sit in the car and revise a little bit. I'm debating whether or not to take the laptop with me because admin and shit. But I might take it with me because my past papers are on the laptop. However, oh, you can actually see. Can you? You can kind of get a a preview into the place. I promise you guys, I'm going to do this tour at some point. But look how cute my mirror is. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? I did a good job. Okay, guys, I gotta go. Please pray for me. just taking you guys on my all-nighter routine if you can even call it that um, I have slept 
two hours in the last 24 hours and that's about it there's really nothing more to share i would not recommend this um always try and get some sleep before your exams i'm actually so tired i'm so tired and i have to start again because in six days i write in the next one and then two days after that i write my final one so welcome to my life welcome to the life in terms of the crazies take care of yourself and i hope and i pray that you guys are doing phenomenal have just left him alone or her alone so that they could have shelter in this terrible weather and so tomorrow not tomorrow friday after my exam i plan to cook a beautiful meal with whatever i can you know put together and take them a meal a nice warm hot meal maybe if i can manage a tea as well be kind The drug combinations. Good morning. It's 3 a.m. on the 10th of December. 
and i know i've done a terrible job recording this journey but let's keep it moving we are about five hours from the exam the final one am i ready not quite as ready as i can be in a two-day preparation period squeezing four months into two days <laughs> but let's do it let's see let's see let's see okay let's see and anyway god's got me man follow me on instagram you already know the whole jig if you don't you probably want to i'm gonna give you some time and i'll leave my details in the description box um but i basically finished exams almost almost two weeks ago it's so crazy that was so intense it was such an intense and crazy period that looking back now i just feel like how in the world did that go by so fast but it did so yeah um i was basically trying to film what a very realistic and unedited and raw view of exam preparation is like and i'm assuming judging from the people around me that it would be almost the same for everybody um depending on of course what you're studying but the exam period was really intense it was three of the biggest exams of the year in a 10 day period 10 days um and there wasn't enough time to study imagine like a whole year's content guys squeezed into 10 days and in those 10 days you're also writing so it's not like 10 days of review no it's it's three days of review exam two days of review exam and then the next exam but i did my best do i know the result oh. i don't know maybe i do that'll be in another video but for now i basically just wanted to let you guys know that i am working on uploading all the videos i've shot also also the external hard drive got corrupted i don't know how and i had uploaded all of my videos that i've been shooting on the external hard drive because i thought they'd be safe and now i can't access them but i've got somebody who was able to pull a couple of things so i'm gonna just sort through the clips and see if i can make videos out of those if i can't guys i'm probably gonna lose my mind i don't know how many videos were on there i really don't some of them are really really old it's like things i shot two years ago when i was starting the channel was it two years oh my gosh it might be i think it's a i don't know i don't know i think it's almost about two years since the channel started um yeah i started in september 2019 yeah so it is two years oh my gosh yeah anyway so if you don't follow me on instagram you will not have like the updated version of events so go there it's easier look if i'm on youtube right sorry about that but if i'm on youtube i have to edit i have to shoot edit color grade sound grade clean up um the shots um then i have to export upload thumbnail description box title and then all the other little things that you don't see that youtube asks me every video are there kids in the video do you want us to add subtitles do you want us to make this available to other countries it's a whole process so instagram i just turn on stories say what i gotta say and turn it off also this is i keep telling you guys love kinks like this brand man i stand by it anyway long story short exams are done i'm home i'm in quarantine it's not covid um, I haven't yet gotten my booster. I was negotiating with myself whether or not I wanted the booster. Now I want it um, because I hate being sick. This just reminded me of how much I loathe being unwell. We interrupt this program to bring you
uh, upper respiratory tract infection. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Covid is not a problem. It's a hazard. It's a problem. 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 Basically, I wanted to give you guys a very real perspective of what being a medical student is like. I didn't want this to end up being a very sad and down and miserable video. So I didn't include all the breakdowns. But trust me when I say there are way more breakdowns than you anticipate in med school. And it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you um, unstable. When you want to have a cry, have a good one. Enjoy it. Like, let it all out. And then get back to work. Because that's time management, boo-boo. Can't spend time crying. But apart from that, it's also acknowledging how you feel about things. I remember there was a time right before exams started when I went to school because of load shedding. So I thought, oh, let's escape load shedding. I went to school. And I left my plug, my laptop plug. And I, I study on my laptop, unfortunately. So by leaving the plug, it meant like I had ruined my whole day. Now I have to drive back. And then I have to get the plug. And then that's petrol. And I just, I broke down in the middle of the cafeteria. And everybody was like, yeah, no, we understand. Like, nobody flinched at me crying, sobbing in the cafeteria. Because, guys, this thing is tough. It's hard. It's it's like hard. I'd say it's harder than labor, but I don't have like birth kits, so I don't know. But it's tough. Like this is like tough, 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 tough. But outside of that, um, 2021 wasn't a terrible year. But this is not the video for that. I just wanted to let you guys know what was happening in those clips. I was recording my exam season. It was very realistic. I I left out a couple of things that I felt were inappropriate to share or things that I felt like would just make med school look miserable um, and I just put as much as I could of the the 10 day that that period when we were writing also I missed my nail appointment these are my real nails I missed my nail appointment because I have an upper respiratory tract infection if you were wondering that's why I'm in quarantine because I just want to be on the safe side. I don't want to get COVID on top of what I have, so I'm quarantining. And now my mom has it, and my baby sister potentially has it, but she's in denial. We don't know. But she go do you boo, do you boo. I know she doesn't watch my vlogs, but if she does, just yeah, do you. Um, but mom is sick, very sick. Um, I've, I'm on like day four of recovery day four day five and my mom is just entering the belly of the beast like she's really bad yeah so i hope everybody's well i could have uploaded this yesterday but it was in the middle of the night after editing the video that i realized there's no outro and then i was like okay i need to shoot an outro but what am i gonna say and then i realized that after shooting the outro i still have to edit the outro i while i was tired and I'm sick, so I was like, no, I'll do it tomorrow. So this is tomorrow, the 24th of January. So yeah, I will be sure to upload this. Hopefully today if it exports fast enough. And I hope you guys have a fabulous Christmas. If I haven't uploaded the next video, I think the next video I'll be uploading, it's between a wedding. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see from what, what is available on the clips. But I just want to get those all out of the way before the new year so that I can start the new year fresh. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you so much for everybody who's messaged and emailed. I will get to every single one of you, I promise. I've tried to stay updated on Instagram DMs and um, emails. I've, mm, I have read your emails, I just haven't responded yet. And I am praying for everybody who's asked for prayer. I do put time aside to pray for each and every one of your issues. Also, if you find yourself as a medical student being excluded, I am not your first point of reference. Do not email me first. Email your faculty officer and find out what your options are. Because by the time I see your email, it might be a little late. So address your faculty officers and then I will, I don't mind, I can read through your appeal letters. Obviously, um, this is all within range, I can't read through 50 appeal letters, but if I can help you, I definitely will. Um, 
but don't ever give up if you really 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 want something and you are so passionate about it you cannot see yourself doing anything else keep pushing and keep reading keep keep seeking stretch your mind and get help that's all guys um wish me a speedy recovery and have yourself an amazing christmas protect yourself wear your masks sanitize and keep the windows open okay okay goodbye from my heart to yours